Hello friends and welcome to another tutorial on Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we are going to understand the program which finds the number of full nodes in a binary tree. First, let us make it clear what exactly a full node in a binary tree means. So, a full node is one which has both a left and a right child. Let us consider this tree for example. In this tree, nodes 2 and 6 are full nodes as each of them have both a left and a right child. Hence, the count of full nodes here is 2. Now let us see the algorithm which will assist us in finding the number of such nodes. Note that we are using a queue data structure. Also, we need a count variable to store the number of full nodes. We initialize the count to 0. Let us also have a sample tree to test our algorithm. We begin with step 1 and push the root node which in our case is 2 into the queue. Since the queue is not empty, we enter the while loop. As we enter the loop, we dequeue the node already there in the queue and assign it to temp. Here 2 will be dequeued and hence temp will point to 2. Now we will check whether temp is a full node or not. If it is so, we will increment count. So full node is one which has both a left and a right child. In our tree, nodes 2 and 6 are full nodes. We will use the code given in the right for this. Let us see the first if in the while loop. Right now temp is pointing to 2. If temp left exists and temp right exists, which in our case is true, as 2 has a left child which is 7 and a right child which is 5. So the value of count will be incremented by 1. Next, if temp left not equal to null, which is again true, as temp has a left child 7, so we push the left child 7 into the queue. The third condition if temp right not equal to null which is again true as temp has a right child 5. So we push 5 into the queue. Since queue is not null we loop. Again, we dequeue the node from the queue and assign it to temp. Here, 7 will be dequeued, so temp will now be 7. Again, we check the first if condition. Here, 7 has a right child but it does not have a left child. So, it does not fulfill the condition for a full node. Hence the value of count will not be increased. Next, we push the right child of 7 which is 6 into the queue. Since queue is not null, we loop. Now 5 will be dequeued and assigned to temp. Again, we check if 5 is a full node or not. Since 5 does not have a right child, the condition for full node is not satisfied. Next, we push the right child of 5 which is 9 into the queue. Again, queue is not null, so we enter the loop and this time 6 will be dequeued. Now, as you can see, 6 has both a left and a right child. so it is a full node. Hence, the value of count will be increased by 1. 
and the left and right child of 6 will be enqueued. Then 9 will be dequeued and assigned to temp. Since 9 has only one child, which is 4, the value of count will remain same and 4 will be enqueued into the queue. Then 1 is dequeued and assigned to temp. Since 1 does not have any child, nothing will be enqueued into the queue. The same will happen for 11 and 4. So, 11 and 4 will be dequeued. Now, queue becomes empty and control will come out of the loop. So, the value of count that will be returned is 2. Let's have a look at the time complexity of the program. This code will run in big O of n complexity. Here, n are the number of nodes in our tree. With this, we come to an end of this tutorial. For any doubts or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.